Hello everyone and welcome to our Let's Play series of Stasis. This is Colonel RPG as usual and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today here in this most terrible of places. Last episode, terrible things have happened. Uh, our, well, John's kid has died or what seems like she has. Can I leave this place? And we got in here, yeah, apparently I can't. Hmm. And I got in here and we have talked to uh, Dr. Mellon or whatever his name is um, and uh, he's taunting us. He yeah, yeah, he's crazy. He's absolutely crazy. So we're kind of very ill-prepared for the job at hand, and uh, we haven't looked at any of these things. There's a corpse over there. There's a high-voltage high wireless power pad uh, uh, that provides a portable energy source for engineers and mechanics, and a computer terminal for use of um, by a supervising engineer for the collection of indexing and indexing of cargo. Let's see whose corpse this is. Hmm. Anyway, let's see what I can do here. We can't do anything. There's a PDA over there. Let's collect it and see what it is all about. This is for from Jared Win Winslow. I don't think I read about this guy before. I don't remember his name. Winslow is an interesting name, uh, at least in my opinion, and uh, I would have remembered, but let's see. February the, th the 6th. I tried real hard not to think any less of Scotty, but I swear the boy ain't got a carrying bone in his body. Plus, I bet he don't, uh, he don't know what any of those big words he used means. He's always hinting that when we're back home, we can be partners in business. I got myself a job and a damn spaceship. Does he reckon I'd need any help getting a, a, getting a job? Well, mm. Yeah, next month, back before the rapid transport system was running through the Groom Lake, folks used to get around in these really slow transport pods. I found one, tuck beneath a, uh, behind a, a pile of storage crates. I've been working on it or, uh, for maybe a month now. I reckon I can get it to hurt, get, get it working. Scotty played an April's Fool joke on me, dumped some water on me while I was working on my on the pod. I accidentally cut him real bad with a wrench. Anyways, I, uh, I'm i gonna play a little joke on him and set his favorite book on fire. But not today, sometime when he wouldn't expect it. Pod's coming along great, a couple more months and maybe I can test it out. My kid brother, Jude would be so proud. He used to help me work on cars all the time. One time, we was fixing the brakes on this old clunker when one of the jacks broke. I know he's in a better place now, but I still feel bad. I pray about it every day, and I know that God knows that I didn't mean to do it. I promise to tell him that I'm trying not to be so angry anymore. Hmm. Yeah. I, I was actually thinking... It's the first time... Is it the first time we, we see mention of God or religion in general? I don't think so. I think we met, we saw this before, but I was thinking it's it's a very interesting notion of how science fiction works with with the uh, religion or you know what with any sort of science fiction if it takes place in the future of mankind it's always going to have to deal with a, some sort of prediction of what is going to happen uh, and there's something called uh, oh my my I'm drawing a blank right now but basically there's a, a theory or a thesis or whatever. Um, that as the world develops, uh, humanity turns to atheism, uh, and, well, statistically speaking, the lesser civilized countries, let's put it, lesser rich countries, let's, what's the word for that? What, what's the index that, that measures a country like Sweden against a country like, uh, Chad, for example? Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, basically there's more atheists in, in Sweden than there are in, in Chad. Chad, of course, unfortunately being a terribly, terribly impoverished country, would extreme poverty in there and it's terrible uh, especially because of the government in that particular situation but you, you know what I mean so and I, I got it, it, this got me thinking recently actually about um, because of another game that came that came uh, or of a game that uh, got released recently called Horizon Zero Dawn that um, deals with religion from the advanced civilization that exists or existed in that world and uh, they 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 had religion uh, very similar to our own right now, or to the to, the, to uh, the religions in our current world. So, it's hmm, I don't know, a little bit of a rant because not rant and not complaining about anything, but it's interesting. I th I think, and I just trying to share my uh, perspective on on this whole thing. Apparently, this guy is religious, or at least has some semblance of it. Anyway, all finished. He says had to get some part printed on uh, with the uh, the nanite machine. But I'm sure Stefan didn't mind much. Can't wait to try it out. Scotty says the pod won't work and that I'll get into trouble for it. Who the hell does he think he is? I made sure it would work. I ain't stupid. Well, your grammar says otherwise, but sure. I mean, you can have bad grammar and speak poorly and still be brilliant, but yeah, it's getting real hard to breathe and just pray about stuff. People uh, like Scotty, God lets them live for some reason or other. 
Albert noticed some strange mushroom stuff growing all over the engineering today. All over engineering today. Guess we're gonna have to get cleaning. Yeah, that's what they did before. We've read about this before. And uh, yeah, they got to cleaning. Good news and bad news. We had to scrub like mama on laundry day, so the gunk is just about gone. Bad news is, it's all over the damn place. Scotty has been really nice. Uh, ooh, he uses a... a Oh, really? Look at that. You would say real nice since I burned that book of his. Oh, really? <laughs> mm. Scott is nicer every day. The Bible said he'd change if I was nice to him. And look what happened. A little bit of red goes a long way in the house of God. Mm, damn, this ain't good. The ship's on level 7 lockdown. Looks like we're gonna get real familiar with one another down here. And this was roughly 10 days before I... Oh, by the way, yeah, I heard people scream. I... You can't pay attention to that anymore. Uh, this was ten days before all shit went hit the fan, basically. Four days after that. Folks must have been mighty hungry. Screams are echoing everywhere. Scotty and me are gonna lock down engineering, shut down the baskets, and close the umbilical bridge. Keep them away from the twins. What is the twins? The engines? Do we have twin engines? Hmm. On uh, Christmas Day, it's Jude all over. I swear I didn't mean to. I couldn't get Scotty to shut it and stop making a ruckus. I just wanted to shut him up. I swear I didn't push too hard, but for God's sake, he was being so damn loud. I just it just gets to where a guy can take it no more. He thought he was better than me all along. Well, he's dead now. He's staring at me. Got to tuck him away somewhere. Yeah. Well, I guess he was being being violent. I mean, he. I guess uh, our friend here just used his violence, his way of violence as well. But that definitely doesn't point to him being, being very smart in general. I hear him, he says two days after. He's been laughing, crying, cracking jokes. He won't stop. Can't get him to stop. Folks say I can fix just about anything with a screwdriver. All they already fixed Scotty, already fixed Jude. God wants us to, uh, God wants us to fix folks up when they're broken. Can I fix me? Well, judging by the uh, amount of uh, journal entries that did exist after that... I would say no, or maybe yes, depending on the perspective, I guess. The terminal is dusty for murmurs with power, but murmurs with power. Test database, database is incomplete, maintenance bay pod control, and I got the pod terminal over there, that's the name of this place, let's test the database. Oh, wait a minute, that's a test database. It's not testing the database, let's read it. Uh, attempting to fix the pod terminal. Uh, I think I got it working, sort of. Backspace don't work. Yeah, still can't do much, but make entries. Okay, um, you can always use the delete key, you numbwit. That's this. I can't, I can't even, I don't know insults. I'm sorry, but I'm trying to insult him in, a, him in a very, very... There's also multiple ways of doing this. If he doesn't have a mouse, though, it might be a little bit w complex, but I'll just give you a tip, because this is kind of in-world. So if you imagine you press the W there, and you didn't want to, so you hold shift down, and you use the uh, left key on your keyboard to select if you don't have a mouse uh, or you get the cursor behind the W and click delete click delete just works as well oh by the way selecting the W doesn't actually delete it you just need to write over it uh, you can also do other things you can for example uh, put the cursor behind the W and instead of deleting it you click on a key called E or I N S or insert uh, and that thing will substitute or generally will substitute the, the letter that is ahead of what you're writing so if you have the W and the cursor behind the W, you press A, and the W will disappear and give place to the A. Of course, if you have, if you have more stuff, it will do the same for everything else. So we need to click in the INS key or the insert key again before that happens. And that's just uh, one way. You can cut the W away. That's just... It, this guy's an idiot. We can know that for sure. Uh, on open, how do I get a, a access to other functions? Hmm. So he might actually be an idiot. Who's this? Huh. System notification failed to complete trans trans transmission. Path. Fuck you. You ain't a goddamn radio. Is invalid or recipient is currently offline. So these are just debug messages apparently. But this is way from before. This might have been a the other guy, the other engineer, who apparently wasn't very smart either. <sighs> Well, you know, I'm saying, you know, it's it's okay to not know this stuff. I'm a geek. I know I work on this stuff. It's fine. But if you work on this stuff and you don't know this, or you can't come up with a, a way of doing that, to the point where you just can't make entries, then you're an idiot. So please, please learn if you're working on this. Yeah, that's what I mean. I mean, just, I'm not trying to insult the ludites among you. Well, I'm sure they're not a whole lot, but there might be. 
Database incomplete over there, and uh, I, I'm very ranty today. I apologize if it bothers you. I'm gonna try and go back to my usual, usual self. Terminal now recognizes the bots. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can concentrate, I, I apologize. Anyway, pod doors, the hydraulics can be accessed, but not opened. Uh, okay, so the pod is being recognized, and pod functional is ready to roll. Terminals work well enough, but cannot erase task posts. Okay, so maintenance pod control, open. Yep. Let's just hope that the kid did indeed die, otherwise terrible things will happen. But that was that easy, that was that easy. I'm trying to press tab for some reason. I'm trying to see if there's anything interesting around. Um, we have we looked at these stuff before, uh, and uh, last episode, I mean, and I think that's that. I don't know what this is for, but that's interesting. Maybe if it no, 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 that won't work. Okay, let's let's get into the maintenance pod. I think it doesn't work. It doesn't do anything. I mean, I'm sure it's gonna break, and then we're gonna have to figure. Oh no! Here we go! We got this steampunk looking machine that looks actually fantastic. I love the art direction in this game. Oh, okay, so we're inside the machine. Destruction the tower. Is that build the tower? I ill no, it's it's something else. I don't know, I can't really tell what it is. Uh, okay, so we have janitorial office, current location. We have the disposal area and visitor center's expansion. I'm pretty sure this is not where we need to go, so that's where I'm going right away. Because the visitors would be where uh, our wife is. Eleanor? What? What's it? I don't know. I'm mixing up other games. He said. He said the name. Elea. Elvita. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I, I didn't pay attention. My. I'm bad. My bad. It doesn't really matter. It's it's just the only single living person. Apart from Dr. Malin, I suppose he might still be alive. Okay, so this is beautiful. Is he gonna comment on the? Oh, oh wait a minute, that's not as beautiful. I thought it was just gonna be like, Daddy, we hear. Ooh. This is the final boarding call for Chelsea Bain and Parasite Sushi. Please proceed to get night immediately. Okay, so. Yes, we have huge cobwebs. Uh, the entrance of the main uh, the maintenance tubes are surprisingly clean. They that doesn't. These I don't... creatures are following their base instincts, breeding, eating. Oh, thanks, Sherlock. Uh, structural engineer. Okay, so we have engineers in here. Are they dead? He doesn't say. The porous material resembles the softness and stickiness of used chewing gum. I was gonna say that it's all fungus, but it's not. It, I oh, it might be. I don't know. We have a lot of corpses around here. I hope I don't need to know which ones they are. The lustrous surface is punctured by an occasional ripple. Also, it's, it looks wet. So, I think it looks wet. It could be just, you know, soft, but... Hmm. The ridges of tissue vibrate along the edge of the crusted organic matter. The yeah, okay. I, I haven't moved yet because I want to see everything. Got Carl instead. I wonder if I need to... If I can notice the... Uh, if the names are... I don't know any of these. Tiny ridges of tissue vibrate along the edge of the crust's organic matter. And we got organic growth up there. A solidified muckus. Mm -hmm. a, he a heaving lump of flesh glistens. Yeah, but it's not heaving. I don't I don't see it. Hmm. Javier Tomé? Or Tomé? Ja Javier. That's probably Spanish. Because in Portuguese, it, it's, it, you write Xavier with an X at the beginning. It's, it's interesting. Uh, at least I find it to be interesting. What do we have over here? Sir Jordi Escobar. Yeah, these guys seem to be a little bit of Spanish ascent, I would say. Or so as some people say, descent. It's not really... I mean, if they have kids that are Spanish, then it, it is of Spanish descent. But there we go. Let's go up there. Please don't die. Or do if the... E-touch. Medical... Yeah. Do if the, the game saved over there. I don't mind. The tower. Maintenance and repair and solid waste disposal facility is overdue by 9,125 days. 9,000... This go... How long go... What? This can't be... What? Oh, yeah. This can't... We have... It's it's kind of tricky to know the uh, how long this has been. It can't have been more than a few weeks or months. That 9,000 days right there, I don't know what it is, but I'm seeing something. You guys see something? I'm seeing something. An effigy has been sculptured from a slab of muckus. Its role is unknown. 
I thought it was just a leaving face, but then it would have been kind of weird, but we have also hard bony growth. Knobs of bone protrude from the surface. A lot of buns in that sentence is right there. I've uh, never seen anything as disgusting as this place. Oh, I have. We have. I mean, maybe not in the wet, sloppy, disgusting thing that you are seeing right now, but... Shit, shit, shit. Yes, it might very well be. It probably is, actually. It depends on the smell. Uh, an abomination lies motionless in a puddle of putrid liquid. It's actually not motionless. That's the problem. A lethargic hybrid idles painfully on the floor. This genetic anomaly grows from the wall like a cancerous tumor. Okay, so I think it's the DNA that are going all crazy. This might not be uh, a sculpture. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, we got a plasma cutter. Okay. A heavy so loader. Looks like it was sealed in during construction. What do you mean construction? What do you mean, sealed in? Shut up, you don't know nothing about what's going on. You know as much as I do. Hmm. This loader has been engulfed in gelatinous muggers. So, yeah, not construction, but the, the construction of this nasty nastiness. Okay, so we got the loader inside growth. Okay, so let's just take the plasma cutter over there. It's a good thing I saw it, actually. Okay, don't touch these! No touching! They're all over. The organic surface is now one with the hybrid, reminiscent of the cloning bats. Yeah. That, that's actually a good a good recall right there. It's good. It's good. Let's get out of here Okay, we have the plasma cutter And I know where to use it Let's go Seat into that throne of yours. It's not actually very well seated it Makes noises you notice that Okay, let's go back to the janitorial officer office. I mean because here we'll be able to use that spl that plasma cutter for whatever Intention we might have. Wait a minute, was that the. I think I know what it's for. I forgot about the end of last episode. I actually. I checked before I started recording, but. Is that door over there on the right side of the screen? Is that the problem? I think it might be the problem. Oh, it's the fridge! It's the fridge! So you put yourself in there, power the plasma cutter, and cut yourself in the face. Oh boy, that's that seems to be working. No, it's not. It is. What? Why? Why, why do you let me do that, game? Why? I knew I. I just wanted. It was supposed to be funny. Well, I guess in retrospect, it kind of might be construed that construed that it's funny. Not for John, though. Okay, he's back here. Just killed himself for no reason. It's all good. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, don't worry. I got your back. I am back. Yeah, basically, it, lo it saved before. <sighs> well, you got uh, one ending of the game, I guess. Let's try this thing over here. Yeah, don't say you expected anything else. An icy mist rises off the frozen human body. An industrial refrigerator for storing objects requiring a low temperature. Okay, well, I just got a PDA, so I, I wonder if that's gonna mean anything. I still need to work it on that over there. Uh, this is from Scott. Oh, so that's... Uh, that's where the other guy st stashed him. Jared would make for a useful business partner, but I can't even suggest it without him erupting into a fit of rage and beginning to rant that that ain't how it's done in my family. Does that mean honestly ex does the man honestly expect to get anywhere without once taking help from those more intelligent than he is? The groom uh, yeah, he does he, he did consider himself to be more intelligent than the other thing. This is all frozen, look at that. Uh, February 11. The Groom Lake has been a pleasure to be aboard thus far. Much more entertaining than being on Earth. Even my family's private island isn't this entertaining. Granted, there isn't much left to do now that the indigenous, indigenous animals have been hunted, killed. Space, however, is infinite. I feel as though planning on April's full, uh, an April's full joke almost two weeks in advance is a little pathetic, especially when the plan consists of a simple prank, or a single plank, prank, pouring water on Jared. I poured water on him, it's, he says, after uh, on April the 2nd. Just a little glass, and the consequence? 
The hulking dimwit chased me down the corridor with a wrench, slicing a reasonable portion of my forehead open. I'm not thoroughly convinced that he is deranged and will be doing some investigation. Uh, I'm now thoroughly convinced. Yeah, mm, yeah, I, I, I tend to agree with you there, mate. After agreeing to, to transfer a sum of money, I convinced Dr. Graham to obtain Jared's medical records for me. Jared it really is mentally ill. He suffers from outbursts of rage. According to one report, he murdered his brother by crushing him to death with a car. It goes on to note that Jared believes it to be the will of the Lord, capitalized just like that. How in the hell did he manage to get that position in the most important area of the ship? I'll have to stay on his good side. Yeah. That's why it was being nicer and nicer. There, yep, that explains it. I'm beginning to miss my father's mansion more with each passing day. Having maids and chefs to cater to me is how I was raised to be responsible for cleaning up after myself and wet walking all the way to the mess hall for food remains a challenge. Sometimes I question my own sanity. I briefly cri uh, criticized Jared's hobby of repairing that old transport pod and oh, the daggered stares he gave me in return. What did I think I could possibly accomplish by taking talking to him about it? Yeah, why, why, why did you do that? You know. It's, you need to be more hypocritical with people. Just if you're an asshole like that, and uh, you you mean other people to die, well, and the other way around as well. Just don't talk to them. Don't tell them how you feel about the stupid things they do. Although, although in that case, it wasn't really stupid because it was. I mean, he has a hobby. Come on, that's why this guy's an asshole. Clearly, oh boy, uh, unbelievable. He says he burned my th thesaurus, Jared. <laughs> oh boy. Jared marched towards me, ripped it from my hands, and set it on fire. Then he screamed, April's fool, April fools, and sprinted away, waving the burning pages above his head. That's unbelievable indeed. I can't begin to say how many times I've retyped my entries. They feel not as good. There's a better word, I swear it. I would uh, kill to get my thesaurus back. Oh, this guy's an idiot. Oh my god. How can anyone respect me if I don't sound smart? I didn't actually notice that he was using too long, lengthy of words or anything. I give up. I ran into Dr. Graham today and he remarked that I sounded like less of a pretentious asshole. Guess I should just talk like an ordinary person from now on. Oh hey, ordinary is a pretty big word. My arms hurt, he says. It was hard work to get all of that fungus out of the generators. We did it though. Cleaning it is not easy. I, I feel a sense of accomplishment. Really? My... I, I hate cleaning. But I don't hate cleaning because of this. It, it, it's hard work. Because it's not hard work. It's really, really... Cleaning is not hard work. I did cycling. That's hard work. That that will destroy you. I... It's... It, it murders you. Seriously. Uh... It, there's... Yeah. This... Yeah. Pulling cables if you're working as an electrician. Yeah, that's pretty hard work. Cleaning? No, not really. I mean, I have huge respect for everybody that works in cleaning. I mean, don't get me wrong. That's totally fine. But don't call it hard work. You need to know how to clean. That's the problem. And I'm not sure this guy ever knew. And if he's anything like me, I don't know what to clean. Um, unfortunately for me, because the, the, on the, those times that I do need to clean, it's, it's harder for me because I don't know what to do it, so I, it's not optimized. But uh, it's... You know what I mean? You might know what I mean. And if you do, thank you. If not, teach somebody how to clean. Teach me how to clean. November the 13th. I guess Jared isn't all bad. He apologized to me today for losing his temper so often. And you know what? I apologized in return. I don't remember the last time I did that. Huh. Look at that. Assholes getting together. Holy shit, November 15th. It turns out the guy had a bunch of rations stacked away. He shared them with me, even though he's almost out. If I don't starve to death here, I may have to put him in charge of Tanaka Investments Charity, which doesn't exist. Yet. <laughs> Rations are here, he says, November the 22nd. Yeah, yeah. You have just enough food in the freezer to last us. Uh, to last us. We're far less hungry than the guys manning the twins. That'll be the engines, I, I suppose. I have to say, I'm impressed. Not sure how those guys uh, have had the energy to keep us afloat with so little to eat. Those guys are titans. No, uh, well, considering they're probably dead already, and the engine is still... And the, the ship is still going. I don't think. I mean, a float is not a thing. If you're in space, you don't need to. You don't need engines to move in space. You just. You just. You, you're drifting. That's fine. You just. That's how planets work. You, they don't have engines. They still move. That's. <laughs> of course, if you need acceleration, then that's a different thing. Anyway, uh, December the twenty-third. Engineering is now on total lockdown. We have to keep whatever those things are away from the generators. I don't think that we'll ever see the light of day again. At least when I die, I'll be with the only real friend I ever had. Look and killed by your own real friend. That's kind of sad. Kind of, if you forget you're an asshole. But there we go. I mean, every asshole's got his its own right?
can't be all that bad. Anyway, that was noisy as all hell. Uh, uh, visitor Center Expansion, let's go. And actually, we're running out of time, so let's meet there on the next episode. For now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Stasis. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next episode.